Colors are the range on the electromagnetic spectrum that is visible to the human eye. That means there's a whole bunch of other wavelengths, both long and short, that are not visible to the human eye. Now, other animals who are more advanced than humans, such as the mantis shrimp, can see uh, parts of this electromagnetic spectrum that humans simply cannot see because we don't have the adaptations in our eyes. We haven't evolved the, to the point that we can see this spectrum. Um, these other waves in the spectrum include things like infrared and ultraviolet. So color, when we're working with color, we're really talking about wavelengths. And the colors that we're working with are the colors that are visible to the human eye. So that's where our color wheel comes in again. We use this color wheel to describe how we can mix light and pigment together to create the illusion of color. Now we've already talked about the primary colors. The primary colors are colors like red, yellow, and blue, right? These are the primary colors. You cannot mix these colors to create them. They exist as pure color. Now the secondary colors, these are the ones I'm going to star, orange, green, and purple, these are created by mixing primary colors together. So if you mix red and yellow, you'll get orange. If you mix yellow and blue, you'll get green. If you mix red and blue, you'll get purple. Now, the tertiary colors. These are the colors that are created by mixing a primary color and a secondary color. Let's say you were to mix red and orange. What you would get is a tertiary color called red-orange, right? So I'm going to get my brush out and I want to show you how this works and I'll make a little splotch there of pure red. Now I'm going to take out my eyedropper tool, put my paintbrush on 50%, and then color that orange over the red. And now we have a reddish orange color, right? That is a tertiary color. Now let's, let's do it again. So I'm going to take out my eyedropper tool. I'm going to take a sample of yellow there. I'll paint a swatch right between yellow and orange. Take a sample of orange and paint that orange over that yellow and now I get another tertiary color which is yellowish orange. And so we can mix all of our primary and our secondary colors together like this and we can see what is gonna come up, right? And this last one is going to be reddish violet. Now we can use this color wheel to learn a lot of things about creating color schemes and creating dynamic compositions.